What up disciples, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you guys a couple of items that you guys can sell to get money for your Shirogani housing in 4.1. Now, we don't exactly know when 4.1 is, is going to be implemented, but we're most likely thinking the 10th or the maybe the 17th of October. But they said that early October, so we don't really know where that's going to be. It's mostly not going to be the 3rd because it's too close to the live ladder, so either the 10th or the 17th of October is what I'm guessing. So it is never too late to start focusing on making money for your housing or if you're just trying to make bank off 4.1 ahead of time. Now, we all know that most likely we're going to know that in 4.1 there's going to be new crafting gear. Most likely the craftable set of, of the yellow script here that we currently have. So, in order to prepare for that, selling materia is probably going to be your best bet when it comes to crafting gear. So, just to let you guys know, do not take the market board on my server seriously because this is Gogomesh. We have so many crafters and gatherers that some um, prices are going to be outrageous and some are going to be pathetic. But do not take our marker board seriously. Your marker board is going to be different depending on how many crafters and gatherers are on your server. So as you all know grade 5 and grade 6 material are going to be the probably the things that are going to be bought the most. So grade 5 gather materia you're pretty much going to focus on gathering and perception i do not worry about um, gp because at this point we have over 700 gp so i don't really think we need any more at the moment so focus on perception and gathering so on uh, my server gathering grade five is around twenty five thousand. it's not bad it could be better uh, as you can see the market board They've actually grown up to like 50,000, but they've now dropped half that. But as you can see, they have, been, they have sold a lot for the past couple of days. So people are preparing now. Grade 6, they're going to be in the, in the 300s to maybe like a million, depending. And again, even though it's been sold out one person, it they do sell quite well. And as for the perception, again, same price, grade 5. five. And then grade six is a little higher, but still good. And as I said, this they sell quite well. So I would either you can stack up on yourself, or you probably can sell them for a couple of mil. But be very, very um, careful how many you put up up there. As for crafting, all three, all three will most likely be needed. Crafting uh, ship grade five. A little higher up because it's crafting, so like around sixty thousand for me for our, our server. So pretty great. Great uh, six up in the four hundred thousand, not bad. Sold the past two days pretty well. For the uh, CP, great five around the fifty to sixty thousand, sold pretty well. Great six up in almost eight hundred thousand, still sold pretty well. And then we have the control, which is around 56,000 sold. And then the grade six is 400,000. And of course, something sold pretty well. So crafting material and gathering material are going to be your cash cows for material. For battling, I would go with direct hit, critical hit, and probably the termination those those three so that is pretty much going to be like num number five on the th on things to sell the fourth thing that you guys can start doing is your grand company turn-ins as you can see at level at like level 68 69 or if you're just trying to get grand company seals all the level 70 gear are most likely going to be your uh, grand company turn-in what you do is make two of them one for yourself and then one to sell people either will buy them for your their grand company turn-ins or they'll buy it 
for themselves to use if they're if they're fresh level 70 most likely they're going to be buying these for themselves or they're going to be passing them in as well as your gatherers especially fishing because a lot of people are too lazy to make them, this themselves so most likely they're going to end up buying it all but do your homework if something is not selling well like for us like the imperial jade gear does not sell very well because most of the time people don't buy level 70 gear they usually get verity or they go to the dungeons so for like accessories imperial jade necklace for us does not work well but everything else does because most like everything else is crafting and of course alchemist and culinary are most likely going to be selling because a lot of people love potions and food so number four is look at your grand company turn-ins make two of everything one for yourself and then one to sell so that's going to be number four number three aether sands that's storm blood aether sands not heaven's order or anything below before that it's storm blood aether sands ever bright ever deep ever born dusk and dawn light aether sands ever deep ever born and ever bright are for the two star gear dusk and dawn are for potions and for food how to get ever deep at the sands you pretty much need the folklore book for uh, Althard, which is in Raga's reach you need 50 red uh, script tokens for that you go with stonefly larva which is the yellow script bait you go into the azim step where the uh, dawn throne is and just fish over the edge and that's where you'll get the sweet sweat fish to uh, reduct it into ever deep edge of sands forever born and ever bright ever bright is as um perlite yeah the unseen spirits laughing that's pretty much going to be over here that's where you get the ever bright as for the ever born it is going to be the uh tory branches which is going to be in the locks at 4 to 8 a.m as a botanist and it's going to be around here and that's how you where you get the ever born it's sands I made a video about the rotation and everything and how to get them on, on my channel. So make sure you to look for those. And now let me just go ahead and show you those three. Sand. I'll show you how crazy expensive they can be. So again, take don't take our market board seriously because it's Gilgamesh. We have a lot of people. So you can see they actually pretty good price at 20,000 20,000 used to be a lot higher but people just don't know how to undercut and they sold pretty well ever born it's gonna be a lot lower because the botanist is more desirable still sold pretty well and ever bright again it's pathetically undercut because everyone's competing against each other but less people on your server the better and you guys you can see people are buying them as well now as for dawn light and dusk light, uh, dawn light, either sand, and dusk light, either sand are better gotten through spear fishing with Fisher. Um, you don't have to go to an uh, ephemeral nose for these. You can easily just get them through regular nodes and spear fishing in the Ruby Sea. Um, dawn light, I believe, is from the snow crabs, uh, and, and the dusk light is from the uh, false scod. Um, it's a medium-sized spear you're going to be needing. All you need to do is go to those um, areas in the Ruby Sea. Uh, one is the Adventure, and the other one is the uh, Sri No Sato. The Adventure has the snow, uh, snow crabs, and the other one has the False God. And all you need to do is spearfish them. Uh, just grab a bunch of cordials 
and use a veteran trade on any fish that pops except for the one you're looking for. That way you eliminate one of them and you have a 50-50 chance of getting the other. You need at least 260 collectability in order to get 8 out of 8, but you still get them 6 out of 8 or 7 out of 8. But your chances increase when you get 8 out of 8. And I also have a video on how to get them as well, so make sure you look for that on my channel. So let's go back and show you the prices on those. So Dawn Light are going to be a lot cheaper because there's only one thing that they're used for. And that's the grade two uh, race suites for level two star items uh, for battle. And Dust Light is for potions and for food, which you can see is going to be a lot more uh, expensive. But do not sell them for 99. People do not buy them in bulk. It's best to sell them, I would probably say like in packs of 10, it'd be good. So do not stack them at 99. The second on the list is going to be, of course, potions. That is the infusions actually. Now, all the potions or the or infusions are actually quite useful except for vitality I don't on the market on my market board vitality is the least amount sold but the uh, strength dex intelligence and mind are the ones that you pretty much going to be focusing on mostly strength because of samurai so as you see here you can see that they're pretty decently priced people are selling them in stacks of 15 I personally would do three or six. They sold incredibly well, as I expected. Dexterity, same price. Sold great. Intelligence, same price again. Sold quite well. And mind, same price and same sales rate. So vitality, as you can see, they're still priced the same, but as you can see, the sale sales history is pretty uh, meh. So, the other four are you going to be focusing on, and you are going to be needing the Dusk Light for those. The only thing is the Alamegan Salt Crystal are on a time node, and the other two are uh, farmable. So, you shouldn't have too much problem getting those. It's just that the Dusk Light at this hand is what you'll be needing. And of course, number one is going to be food. It is no surprise that food will be the is the number one thing you guys want to sell in order to make food. The persimmon leaf sushi is the greatest thing for strong blood for your uh, melee DPS because it gives crit, vitality, and direct hit. As for casters and probably healers, the um, jellied, I ever pronounced the second part of that word, the name, is most likely gonna help, is going to help like your caster on uh, like healers because determination, vitality, and critical hit. And also like how like, uh, red mages and summoners and black mages. So, but most likely the Persimmon Leaf Sushi for Raiders is most likely what you're going to be selling. Uh, as for the two star stuff, um, the pork and the pork stew, mm, you can you could gamble with it, but I would go with the uh, Persimmon Leaf Sushi. And as for the tea here, it's great for healers and probably even summers because of their uh, horrific aether flow nerf because they give more uh, more piety like 80, 82 extra piety also determination and vitality if you need it so the tea also is something you can look into as for crafters and gatherers um the gel jamel musaka is good for gatherers who need perception and gathering and through G GP is already at where they need it and for crafters 
the tempura platter is probably the best thing for them because it gives them uh, a lot of crap CP at high quality and craftsmanship. Uh, Warrior stew is also pretty good if they have if they have their, if their CP is good and you just want control and craftsmanship, you also can sell that. But as for like the rest of the food, I would say make them and sell them because you never know what people want. You know, I, I would say like make anything that has critical hit in it and anything that has uh, CP, craftsmanship, and control. I, I made all these things when I was trying to get uh, my uh, achievement and I'm surprised how a lot of this sold So it's best to throw your uh, Throw them out there and see what uh, what people buy but mostly the uh, persimmons uh, leaf sushi and the tempura platter is what you'd be selling for crafters and uh, For battle classes So those are going to be uh some of the things that you guys are want to be focusing on selling between now and 4.1 as a bonus housing items go with the essentials arm the arm wire um summing bells the crystal bells for the aesthetician for pair styling changes um free company uh chests aquariums a lot of people like aquariums um couches tables chairs um, shrubbery for the out for the front yard uh, front yard a lot of them like the chocobo shrubbery the cactar the um, the paisa all of these uh, shrubbery for the yard also is good mailboxes people want mailboxes and stuff like that um, a lot of people will probably want to glamour their houses so probably if you're still do using your workshop and your free company make them um, house glamour um, a lot of people put tacky things in your house so make stuff like like moogles or marbles or just carbuncle stuff a lot of people show up tacky stuff in their in your house they, they don't even care <laughs> but for, for like you're doing housing items try the, the essentials that every household would want a lot of people like the manor stuff. A lot of people like the uh, Hawk Manor uh, some furnishings for the house. I know I do. They look great. So work, uh, work on some selling uh, manor stuff as well for your housing. A lot of people like to um, garden. So probably sell garden, pot, uh, little gardening pots for, their, for people's houses for putting flowers around and stuff like that. Or any kind of like wall mount. Stuff that you put on the walls and stuff that a lot, like a lot of people will put hot tubs in their house, partitions for the, the building up the walls and stuff like that. A lot of people will buy all these for their houses when uh, housing becomes available in 4.1. So as a bonus, those some of those housing items is also good to sell. All right, guys. So that is going to be my five things plus bonus. Of things to sell to make gill for preparation for shear county housing or 4.1 in in general so guys uh, thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like on this video any comments questions concerns you guys have or any anything in this video leave them in the comment section down below i'll be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have and if don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new for more final fantasy 14 stormblood content so until next time guys may you forever walk in the light of lord bahamut take care guys and good luck <laughs>